One of the common things we uh, do is keep the wound clean and dry for at least five days or while the sutures are in. If there are no sutures to take out, I will tell patients to keep that wound clean and dry with the dressing intact for five days uh, and then they can remove it and, and get it wet after that. If they have sutures that need removing, which is usually after one week, they need to keep that wound clean and dry for the seven days. The second tip is keep the wound supported. Scarring takes about three months to develop its maximum strength, which is still only about 80% of skin strength. So if you can keep that wound supported, especially if it's in a high tension area, if you can keep that wound supported for the three months, then they're gonna get the best result, resulting scar. And the way to do that is by applying hyperfix tape, for example, or some other sort of tape. And my third tip would be to uh, give the patients silicon gel. Uh, either silicon gel or silicon sheeting, which is probably the best product around to apply to scars, and they need to do that for the first three months. So that will give them the best scar result. And obviously, you know, your surgical technique has to be spot on. Without that, then none of the above apply. <laughs>